Uh, I'm Fernando Gont. I'm from Buenos Aires, Argentina, and I work for a company called SI6 Networks. Great, and you are here as an ISOC fellow. Have you been to the IETF before? Yeah, I've been to the IETF before. Great. So you're here as a fellow. What did you learn about the IETF from your participation this week, and, and maybe what surprised you the most when you were here? Well, I don't know if I would call, uh, I, I say that it surprised me, but um, let's say one of the most important things that I took from, from this uh, from this participation at the ITF meeting was that of uh, meeting quite a few folks that I knew from mailing lists and so on to m like more personal level. So there were people that uh, I had discussed some technical stuff with, but uh, well, this time I had the chance to know to you know to, to have like informal meetings with, and um, it's amazing how um, that that kind of you know like personal relationship uh, improves the technical work that you do. How will you take what you've learned here back to your community back in Argentina? Well, one of the things that I do, I, I participate very actively in uh, some of the LACNIC activities, which are like not just activities in Argentina, but like regional activities. And there, for example, I'm the moderator of their security group. So usually whenever I do, whenever I work, for example, on, a, on an internet graph or, or whenever there is an interesting discussion, I always try to get the people there involved in the discussions. So I try to keep them uh, up to date with what's going on at the ITF and also I try to encourage them to, to participate in the working group mailing list. So um, I say that that's the main way in which I, I, I try to you know, take what I, what I do at the ITF or what I learn from meetings and participation to, to the region, not just Argentina. Great. And what are your thoughts about the ISOC Fellowship? How's it made a difference in your professional development and career here? Well, it makes a big difference because uh, usually if you are in a developing country, um, it's virtually impossible to, you know, to get a, a, a company or an organization to sponsor you or to fund you to attend an ITF meeting. Uh, usually developing countries are mostly consumers of technology, but they are not involved in the production of technology. So for, I'd say that for, for most organizations in developing countries, uh, they, they, it's, the IETF is not even in their radar. So uh, the fellowship actually enables the participation of many people that would have otherwise not participated at all.